in other news, I am number three on the Kylie and Kendall game. I've worked very hard for this. Why do I have no life? I don't want to brag, but I've been really proud of my Instagram theme <laughs> recently. I actually just tweeted yesterday that everything in my life has a theme. My YouTube thumbnails have a theme. My background is a theme. My room has a theme. Instagram, I try and, you know, but everything has a theme. Even sometimes my Snapchats have a theme. And my only thing that I don't have a theme is my personal Tumblr, which if you don't follow me, it's, I've literally had it for like 10 years, if not more. And it's just like memes. Before we start, take a look at this eyes. Take a look at my face. This is inspired by Lottie Tomlinson and I've done a whole video on how to do this on the collab channel which I post every Thursday so you should go check it out, link will be here and down below as well. In case you can tell by the title of this video, I'm doing an updated how I edit my Instagram. I've showed you all the apps that I use, I've showed you what's on my phone when it comes to editing, and now I'm going to actually show you how I edit a picture. We're going to just actually hold this up and hope you can see. So. Once again, here are all my apps. We're going to open up to my photo app. I first start with Visco, and that's pretty much the only thing I use to keep my theme so consistent. I have all these pictures like queued up and ones that I think, oh, would they look good? So we're going to go with, I don't know. I have so many pictures of myself. Don't judge. I take so many selfies when I look good. It's embarrassing. Okay. So I'm going to select this picture, which I used and took when I was doing the Kylie Lip Kit review in 22. So you take your picture, the basic picture, you go to this little thing and click that. Now usually they suggest you like hit exposure and all brightness and all that stuff before, but if you know your set filter, which you want, um, just go right to it. I don't see. I know the exact like code for my pictures now. So I go to C4. And that brings it to the more blueish pink, in case you can't tell. Um, so, you can if you click on it one more time, you can adjust how much you want of the bluish and pinkish. I just leave it pretty much always on the highest I can. And that is chromatic C4 that I use. And then you press this little, little cute thing, and then you open it again and you hit that was a screwdriver. Now we're going to the wrench. So, you, I always up my brightness at least my, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my exposure once, um, <laughs> just to make it, and then I even that out with the contrast going up once. Um, sometimes I sharpen, which is this little, tr like, triangle. It's just a triangle, and I sharpen sometimes because. Especially with my photos of buildings that I like. I really like photos of buildings, clouds, and myself. Like Those are probably the three main things I Instagram. So I know when it comes to buildings, I like them to be really crisp. I don't know why, it's just a thing. Myself, it can be a little bit softer. I don't need to have like very crisp eyebrows, you know what I mean? So buildings, I usually do. So I might sharpen just a little bit when it comes to a selfie. Go to saturation. I either bump it up once if I look too orange or too pink or something like that, I'll bump it back down because it's not necessary. If I usually keep it at zero, if not like negative one. Then I finally go to this little, it's like a, like a, I don't know what the heck that is. And it says tint. And that's where I get my main part that is the pink that you'll see is, I just kicked you, I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, the main part you see is the pink, that tint is from hitting tin. So how all mine have like this weird purple-ish blue pink filter, it's because of tin. And then I hit it and I go to this nice one on the right, press that, press these three dots again, save to camera roll. I always hit actual size. I'm not really sure what any of the other ones do and why we would want it smaller. I don't know. So I hit actual size and it's finished. And that is how I edit my Instagram. It's not very in depth. I'm very sorry. <laughs> it's really simple actually. It's kind of embarrassing how simple it is, but it does keep a nice theme for me. I have found a formula that works for me, but when it comes to you, it's just coming and sitting down in front of your phone and playing with filters and seeing which one works best or which one you like the best. I will say, and I will, I'm calling her out because 
I've tried to follow people with really cool feeds and I really like Hannah. Um, she is a Canadian YouTuber who I've actually collabed with before and she's just awesome. She has a very neutral Instagram. So her name is Hannah Margaret D and this is her Instagram. It really, like I said, comes down to you finding what works the best and going with it and just sticking with it. Uh, <laughs> if you want to see how Hannah um, does her Instagram, she actually just made a video on how she Insta how she edits her Instagram pictures. I will link that down below, so go and check that out. And check out her Instagram because it's nice and neutral compared to mine, which is like pink and obnoxious. So um, I hope this helped you in some way. I'm really sorry. I totally was one of those people that used to hate visco cam. I was like, Instagram gives us filters. Why would I use something else? And I'm like, oh, now I get it. Be sure to come back on Sunday to see me and what I've done throughout my week because I do vlog. That's the little thing I do. It's a weekly vlog. I can't do that daily vlog. Not yet. Not right now. So come back Sunday, see what I've been doing, catch up, share what you've been doing the week. And go over to the collab channel see how this lottie look inspired me and can inspire you <laughs> here are the top five songs of the week and here are the top five ways i'm transitioning from winter to spring when it comes to clothing let me know down below if there's any new songs i need to hear because currently i've just been listening to a lot of podcasts and i feel like i'm a really old person so i need new music in my life please thank you okay bye Neon fleeks. I meant flicks, but they're on fleek. <laughs>